In the 1930s, you damn near had to be a high rank gangster to get on these fucking airplanes. Cause first of all, what the fuck is this? This shit is too close. A some bitch take off their work boots. It's over with. Where the fuck the helmets at? Because I know the turbulence had to be a motherfucker back then. Most definitely, that ceiling had to put knots all across that shit. In the U.S., between 1930 and 1937, 45 airline accidents occurred, and that's too damn many. Let's come back to reality, cause ain't no way in hell you gonna just invent some shit that's gonna have me thousands of feet in the air and think I'ma be one of the first ones to get on that motherfucker. Because anything could go down. Now just imagine if you spent $13 to fly on first class. And you feel that some bitch start to nose die. Because in the 1930s, planes would regularly drop mid-air with no warning. I ain't burning alive. I'm a frog splash off that motherfucker. But check this shit out, dude. This is the Sky Cruise. This will be the first nuclear power hotel. It has a landing spot for planes. And it can also fly for seven years without landing. It will have movie theaters, restaurants, and clubs on board. You can fit up to 5,000 people on here. But the bad news is, your ass will not have a pilot.